Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Whether you're new or returning, welcome in. Thank you. So this is for December and we're going to take whatever comes out here. We could get uh, love, we could get work, finance, and career, health, uh, friend, family, social energy. So whatever comes out here, we're just going to take the energy as it comes. So if you click on the title, obviously there's probably a message or two in here. For you, the whole reading may not resonate for you, so please keep that in mind. Um, only parts may resonate. And please, like I said, only take what resonates and throw away the rest, including the signs mentioned. And um, this is for now. Whenever you see this, tell whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So uh, if you would like to go back and watch pa uh, past, past playlist, um, links are below in the description box for the Sagittarius playlist. So we're going to look at here what's going on with you, your current energy. I'm going to open up with a message from you from the Moonology Oracle. Look at your current energy and what's going on with you, your actual situation. Advice for your situation with a possible outcome, all clarified with tarot and oracle cards. So stay tuned and we'll see what we got for you. So Sagittarius, I can also pick up on, pick up on past, present, or future energies. Or this could be a story of someone around you that also affects you in some way. So please keep that in mind. All right, so I think that's your card. Quick. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with this part, that is totally, totally fine. So let's see what we have. Oh, the sun. So that is Leo. So you could have a Leo around you in some way, shape, or form. And the sun is also about being true to who you truly are. It's about your uh, self-identity your originality, uh, your sole purpose and mission, um, your creative ideas. It's like who you are to the core. That's the sun energy. And the sun in tarot does represent happiness, joy, success, fulfillment, growth, expansion, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing energy. It's the most positive card in the whole entire tarot deck. Though this is astrology, zodiac oracle, so it's a little different. But... The sun in the Zodiac Oracle here is all about uh, being true to you, who you truly are. Okay. Being true to your soul, your soul mission, your soul purpose, your true identity. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's get an opening message for you. Let's get an opening message for Sagittarius. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit, please? What is the opening message? That's too many. Opening message for Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. All right, I'm feeling this one right here. And we have work through your fears. So, wow, <laughs> new moon in Scorpio. I had just got this for Pisces. And I just did your love connection reading for the month of December. If you haven't watched that, I had heavy Pisces and Leo in the love reading. And now your general reading is having... Um, well, Pisces did get this card, even though it's a Scorpio card. So you could be dealing with a Leo and a Pisces or maybe a Scorpio, but that doesn't matter. But this is telling you something here. You need to work through your fears, new moon. So let's get one for your current energy, one for your current energy for Sagittarius. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. So Scorpio season is like ending in a few days and cancer season is not till the end of May, no, the end, end of June into July. So I don't know if that means anything here or you could have s people around you that are Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, um, friends, family, coworkers, significant others, whatever here. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. New moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. So now we have Aquarius here. So a lot of new energy. So I feel like there's a new energy coming into you, into your life. A lot of newness could be a new beginning. It could be uh, just new energy, you know, new, new, and new. It's something here with Aquarius. So that could be Aquarius is coming up um, end of January into February. So 
something with the Aquarius. We've got Aquarius season, Cancer season, Scorpio season, if you're not dealing with these signs. So those are the different seasons. And we have all new moon energy. So I feel like you're either coming into a new phase into your life, new energy, new energy is coming into your life. Like you're finally living out who you truly want to be, what you truly want to be, um, being, you know, your individual self. Being true to who you are. That's what sun energy is. Being true to who you are. All right. Let's see what's going on here, Sagittarius. You and your loved ones are safe. So if that's a concern for you, for some reason, um, whatever your situation is, the universe wants you to know you are safe, safe and your loved ones are safe. Okay. So that could be a special message uh, for some of you. All right, so let's see. Why is this energy here of you and your loved ones are safe? Why is that here for Sagittarius spirit, please? Whoa, the Ace of Pentacles, nice. And the Seven of Wands. So yeah, and new, and here is new energy with the Ace of Pentacles, stable new beginning of growth, prosperity for the long term. So some, and I felt newness all here because you got new moon, new moon, new moon. And, um, and now you have this brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. It could be a new job, new career, um, some kind of new financial gain, inheritance. I mean, it could be anything here. But stable new beginning, divinely guided here for the long term of growth, abundance, prosperity. And you do have the Seven of Wands here, which is a defensive energy. That's your energy. Uh, Pentacles is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, and Wands is your energy, Leo, Sag, Aries, and we have Sag, Leo there, so I feel like you ha you're defending yourself, because the Seven of Wands is about defending yourself, it's being defensive, on guard, fighting for what you believe in, needing to fight for what you believe in if you have to, so it's like you're fighting, I think you're fighting for this new beginning here. And it may not be like physically fighting. It could be just mentally, um, emotionally, uh, financially here. So let's get let's get a couple more. We have bring love into the situation over here. So maybe in Aquarius um, does mean the star in tarot, which is about healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. And Cancer over here, Cancer in the tarot is a uh, positive movement forward. It's about, it's the chariot energy. So it's about, you know, rushing ahead with success and balance and determination and being successful. Just, you know, making that effort and positive movement forward. And the Scorpio energy over here uh, has two um, cards in the Major Arcana, which is the Death card. And the judgment card. So, you know, making a final decision about endings, but you got the new beginning right there. And I feel like you're fighting for it, like defending yourself, standing up for it. It could be competition with others, uh, trying to ri rise above the uh, others for this new beginning. Let's get a couple more here. So, we got the Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. So, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, feeling bored and content here, uh, discontent. And Six of Cups energy could be, you know, thinking of, of the past, past uh, memories, nostalgia, your past, your home, uh, your home life when you were a kid, um, old friends and family kind of energy. Usually talks of soulmate energy also, or like past life energy. You know, the Four of Cups, you know, is about being bored and discontent. It could also be about, like, not accepting an offer and pouring the water out of that cup. Um, so I feel like I'm just getting the energy of the cards. Um, I feel like you're fighting for this new beginning. It could be something that you've wanted for a very long time, maybe since childhood with the Six of Cups here. It could be where you are now. You're just very bored and discontent. You're not happy. It's like you're ready just to pour everything out of that cup and say, you know, I'm done. 
I want to fight for a new beginning here. And I feel like it's something you've wanted for a very, very long time. And maybe you're worried through this transition, the safety of your your yourself, your family, not physical safety, but like financial safety net, that kind of energy. But this is telling, you know, bring love into the situation to stay in like a positive mindset, a loving, compassionate energy, positive energy. Needing to work through these fears here. Maybe as you're going through a transition, this is a new phase. You have a lot of fears, doubts, and securities about moving forward. And this could also be, you know, about leaving the past behind because you see these people walking away here. So you could be leaving something in the past behind here that you're just very bored and discontent with. Fighting for this new beginning, new phase. Getting new, 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 new phase in your life. So let's see what your actual situation is. So we got the King of Cups in reverse and we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. These just both flipped out in reverse so you know the five of pentacles talks about um abandonment loneliness uh feeling left out in the cold neglected it could be financial um worry financial lack king of cups here not being in like a loving energy not being in a situation that you love because the king of cups is cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be but upright you know it's someone who has a lot of love and emotions and I think that's why you have here bring love to the situation because you're not in a loving energy right now. But the five of pentacles in reverse, uh, that's coming out of that monetary lack. That's coming out of that neglect and, you know, sadness of feeling like lost and empty and out in the cold. So I feel like you're coming out of that energy or you're leaving that energy. But you're not being in like, a, you could not be, you could not be in a, very loving compassionate place right now for some reason so let's get one more for your actual situation so we got the hermit energy here which is virgo so this is about going within now this is a major so it's kind of of what trumps the um minors here so this is about going within finding your way finding your light doing that deep down soul search uh search work that you need to do doing a lot of introspection And then we have the two of swords here. So that's about, you know, indecisiveness, unable to make decisions or being blind to make a decision here. But I feel like this is the after tarot. So I feel like you will be making a decision here. You will see the light. You will see the direction you need to go in. And that could be why now you're coming out of this feeling of lack energy. Although you still have a little bit of this fear, doubt, not feeling, I mean, you could not be feeling good about yourself right now, but I feel like you're slowly coming out of that energy, working through those fears, that you will be fine because you have you and your loved ones are safe, so you will be fine. Okay, so let's get one more. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're working very hard here, mastering your craft, learning new things, uh, trying to um, bring in this new phase in your life. Really working hard in all areas here. Work, it could be work, life, just life in general. Really working hard here. It could be just concentrating on your work, your finances, you know, bring to bring in this new cycle, this new phase in your life. Okay, so let's get your advice. Let's get your advice, Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter. When you get the King or Queen, it's all just energy. Um, it can be male, female, doesn't really matter. So Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this is being secure, stable, and grounded, abundant, um, prosperous, You know, making your coins, your money, being very, very stable and grounded and not really have to worry. Uh, could be very good with finances, practical uh, and smart kind of energy. All right, so let's get one more for your advice. The Empress, Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter here. So yeah, again, knowing your value, your worth. Your advice is to keep in a positive energy. Know your value, your worth. 
and just work on your stability, your growth, your expansion, that you are safe, you are you can work through these fears, get over these fears, you can be in that loving, compassionate energy, you can keep manifesting forward, make these decisions that you know you need to make instead of being all stuck in your head. All right, so let's get a couple more. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Empress is um, Libra, Taurus. Doesn't have to be. All right, so let's get a few more here for your advice. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So there you are, showing up in your reading. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in your favor, luck coming in, um, just things going in a better direction here. Though we do have the Five of Wands. This is the after tarot, so five of wands usually talks about the short energy, Leo Sag Aries, about conflict, uh, inner conflict, conflict around you, competition. So I feel like you're getting um, over that energy, like um, divine wheel here, bringing, bringing in divine timing, something that's meant for you, destiny, good luck, better fate and fortune coming your way. This is releasing the inner conflict, competition, or whatever here, or conflict around you. So I think in time here, things are going to get better. The conflict will um, reside, you know, around you, within yourself. You'll be very stable and ground. I mean, you could even, here with the Emperor Empress, I mean, own your own business or be your own entrepreneur or be very successful here. As with the Queen, King or Queen of Pentacles can be like a high-ranking boss, a uh, um, owner, business owner, entrepreneur kind of energy. Very stable. The emperor, and the empress gives birth to new things. So again, new, newness. Ace of pentacles, new, brand new. Empress, birth to new things. New energy coming in with the wheel of fortune. Three new moon cards here. Definitely going into a new phase of life here for you, Sagittarius. All right, so let's get your possible outcome. I feel like it's all just like, everything in your life. I'm not getting a lot of like a love situation, but just like your work, your career, your finances, um, big changes in your life, a lot of new energy coming in here, but needing to work through those fears, doubts. Wow. <laughs> now, as I said, emperor or empress, here comes the emperor energy. So yeah, being total, being totally in control of your fate and your destiny with the wheel of fortune. This is Aries energy. It doesn't have to be. Again, being a boss or a high-ranking boss or owning your own business or being an entrepreneur, taking control, taking the lead, being the ruler, just taking charge of your life, taking control of your life moving forward into this new cycle. Wow. Emperor and Empress. If you do have a romantic connection, new, old, whatever here, and you're wondering about it, maybe you have fear about it, uh, the Emperor and Empress here is like um, a divine couple here, matching couple, soulmates, possible twin flame. This is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So if you're wondering, for some of you, about a romantic connection, this is definitely a soulmate, possible twin flame energy here that's divinely guided for you. Very stable, grounded energy. Power could be a power couple here. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's get a few more here for your possible outcome. Wow, so now we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Six of Pentacles. Can be King or Queen of Wands, that's your energy, Leo Sag Aries, as we have Leo Sag here. Six of Pentacles, so being very balanced, equal reciprocation, uh, things balancing out. So yeah. <laughs> Possible outcome here is you being in control of your life, your destiny moving forward and having this balance in your life that I feel like you so desperately need moving forward. It's all coming in for you. Energy is here. As long as you work through your fears, doubts, and keep fighting on and being in a more um, loving, compassionate, higher vibration, healing energy, all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nice. So this is like the minor of the Empress of the Empress. So this is being stable, secure. You could be single now or becoming single. This could be the new phase for you also. And being very secure, stable, grounded on your own. You know, having everything you need. Your material life is good. Your finances, everything is good. And you have everything you need and you're stable and grounded on your own here. 
Queen of Cups energy. Um, we did have the King of Cups in reverse, but now the Queen of Cups is upright. King or Queen doesn't matter. Again, with the matching couple, the King and Queen. So again, definitely has, there is a soulmate energy here. So it's maybe you are unsure about this because you are on rever in reverse here with the King of Cups. But this is a soulmate energy here with the Queen. And you don't have to be water signs. It could be any signs. But as long as we have a matching couple here, it is a soulmate energy. But one is unsure because one of them is in reverse. So it's either you or them. But, you know, love, emotions, being in that self-love energy, compassion, peace, harmony, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. Three of swords. So this is about heartbreak and pain doesn't have to be third party it could just be something very uh, hurtful that happened but I feel like you're over it because this is the after tarot all the swords are out of the heart now the heart is healing so again with Aquarius here represents the star which is about healing so I feel like your heart is healing over whatever you went through and now you're coming into a new phase in your life and having that loving healing energy within yourself ten of wands yeah You've released a burden here that was no longer serving you. Leo Sagittarius here. Tens are ending completion. So definitely ended something here that just was weighing you down. You've laid all the wands down. You have your one wand now here of where you want to go, where you want to do, what you want to do going into this new phase in your life. Page of Cups. So, you know, this could be apologies. It could be loving communication. Uh, it could be about children here. So, yeah, you, you know, this, like I said, could be apologies, peace, harmony, or loving communication with somebody here of some kind. Three of Wands here, energy, though, you know, waiting, looking out into the distance. You see your future in the distance. You're just waiting for the, um, I don't know if that's an eagle, falcon, or something here, hawk to land, so that, and the ships to come in, so they can seek out into your new life. So I'm wait. I think you, for some reason, you maybe have to, maybe having to wait for this new cycle, this new phase, but it's coming, it's there. And it could be a soulmate again. I'm getting a lot of work, career, finances. Some of you could be coming together with a soulmate. Here is a soulmate energy it's again. Lovers coming into soulmate union. And Leo energy here. Again, sun is Leo. But there's a period of waiting. Could be apologies, love messages, laying down burdens no longer serving you. One, one here. Direction you know you want to go in here. Heart is healing over pain from the past. Now being in a more loving, compassionate energy. And being stable, grounded, all on your own. And you may be becoming into a single life that could be new for you. So this could be this new energy this new phase that you're currently going through in your life now okay Sagittarius so I'm going to get a few more messages for you here from this deck but before I do that I just like to say if you do like how I read please do like share comment and subscribe I love to read the comments if you subscribe hit the bell you'll be notified when I post new readings I do four readings a month for every single sign you'll get a general tarot forecast you'll get a love connection energy reading and you'll get a singles reading who's coming towards me and you'll get messages from spirit, what you need to know at this time from spirit. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out if you do. Thank you so much. Also, check the description box below for um, a lot of information, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. I couldn't do it without you. And um, all your support really doesn't mean a lot to me. And getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And helping in the channel's growth. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's get some extra messages for you. Let's get some extra messages for you to close out this reading. Sagittarius. Time out. So, and I believe uh, Pisces got this card too, I think. So again, 73 here. 10, about ending completion. Time out. So... You know, and this could be this Virgo card here about really going within. And yellow here does represent the solar uh, plexus and the sun energy. Solar plexus is all about who you truly are, your soul purpose, your soul mission, um, and that kind of energy. And so is the sun with the yellow energy. So time out here, really reflecting, concentrating on you moving forward and living out your soul purpose, your true identity. Thinking, contemplating, healing. 
finding your way in your light as with the hermit energy. So if you feel like you need a time out, take a time out. Work through those fears. Get in a more positive energy. All right. Change. Exactly. Wow. Five. Yeah, major change here. I do feel that. This is a new change. A new phase for you and a big, big change. Big change for you. All right. Things are changing. New cycles. New, new, new. New life. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Abundance. Yeah, you do have abundance coming in here. 88. Eights are about, you know, again, working hard. You have the eight of pentacles over there. It's about, you know, working hard. Travel, communication, and that kind of energy. So this abundance, you know, keep going, keep going, don't give up. This abundance for you will be coming in. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Adventure. 55 again. <laughs> so that's five, five, that's three fives. This is a major, major change for you. It's like a new adventure for you, this new phase, this new cycle in life for you. So wherever you were before, I feel like you could have been in that situation if it was an old job, a relationship, or something here, something you were in for a very long time because you had the Six of Cups energy, which is um, things of the past, you know. So very big change here, coming out of something, a new phase for you that you were in for a very long time. You could have felt stuck there because you have the Ten of Wands energy. But the wands are down now, um, and now you're on your new way, your new path, your new adventure. That's kind of like the fool energy for me. Um, but if you do add 5 to 5, 10, you wouldn't because it's a double number. But if you do, 10 ending, 1 new beginning. So, And then right under that, if you're wondering about a new person, it is a spiritual uh, partnership here. 27, 9, which is dreams coming true. Um single energy so spiritual partnership is here too for some people well Sagittarius okay sending you many light love and blessings best of luck to you and as I always say with my channels with the sun energy here is to always always shine your light